Hello there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2. So in the last part we took care of the dreaded World 4. Uh, I hated the boss of World 4 and really just on the some of the other gimmicks and like the whales and whatnot but now we're on world 5 which is much better than world 4 in my opinion and i don't know why there's a bomb in the ground randomly there and yes i just threw that potion off i'm an idiot and i'm an even bigger bigger idiot because i jumped on that log too soon and as a result i fell to my death so don't do what i did wait for the logs to fall before you jump in so yeah it sucks i had to make an example of that but i did so there you go and we're just jumping on fish because why not? And there's a one-up. Yay! One-ups are good. I love my one-ups and uh, yeah, I don't know why there's nothing in this dark room, but uh, maybe if I put it in a different position there would have been a mushroom or something. I don't know. But anyways, let's just keep trucking along here, jumping on more logs. And over here we got another potion. Maybe this will lead to a mushroom. Oh. How am I supposed to get that? Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I legit don't know how to get it, so... Sorry. And we're already at the boss. That was pretty quick. Now notice this birdo is green instead of red or pink. What does that mean? It means she only shoots fireballs. Yeah. Which means you have to take her out using a block. Which, mind you, isn't a big deal, but... I do kind of miss jumping on her eggs. You can't jump on fireballs, they kill you, don't you know? But even so, she wasn't too bad. So grab the orb, and I don't know why I grabbed the block again, but I did. And let's get out of here. So that was the first level, and I had a lot of coins here, so I decided to go and speed it up. Just to save you guys time. Yeah, I could have just cut it ahead instead, but I decided, nah, let's just speed it up, because why not? It's kind of fun to listen to, uh how fast or how silly it sounds when it's sped up so yeah and this way you know can speed through my disappointment because seriously I'm not getting any extra lives that sucks oh there's one finally yeah of all these coins I think I only get two extra lives maybe three no I'm pretty sure it's two I think that's the last one I get oh nope that sucked Nope, I did get three. Cool. But anyways, back to regular speed, and let's go on to World 5-2 with the Ouija. And, yeah. Gotta love the Ouija. He is awesome. He is definitely my favorite to play as in this game, but I've said that before, so why am I saying it again? I don't know. I guess because there's not a whole lot to talk about. Oh, bomb! Seriously, what is with the bombs all of a sudden? Anyways, there's these weird spire things that you want to jump on, and uh, another shy guy riding, riding a bird. I don't know what that's supposed to be called. It could be a chocobo for all I, can, all I know from Final Fantasy. I doubt that's the case, and I just died. Uh, yeah. Man, it, it, I'm just dying all over the place now, aren't I? Anyways, it could be a chocobo for all I know. I doubt it is, but I don't know its actual name. And again, we reach another spot with... You know, where you gotta do a super jump. And again, I just question why would you design it that way? You know, why not just make it so I can jump up regularly instead? You know, if the Ouija can't jump up there without, you know, charging up, then it's too high, in my opinion. Anyways, you got more of these spider things. I don't know what they're actually called, so just jumping along. So, how was everybody's weekend? Uh, mine was pretty fantastic. I actually went to a comic book convention and I uh, had a lot of fun with it. Met a lot of cool people, did a cool Mario cosplay, a lot of people liked it. It, it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to comment. Oh, there's a heart. I don't know what else to comment about uh, with that. Well, I guess one thing I can mention too is that I uh, did speed, speed dating there. I don't know why, but they had a thing called cosplay speed dating. I was like, you know what? It's so silly sounding that I gotta try just for the heck of it. So I did, and it was actually pretty fun if I say so myself. Didn't really get a number or anything, but hey, it is what it is. More so, I was just hoping to make a friend, but uh, even that didn't happen. Yeah, well. Now this part's really annoying because once you grab this POW block, you keep falling and falling, and there's spikes everywhere, and you gotta memorize where you gotta go. And if you make a single mistake, you're dead. So... 
yeah, this part sucks and I don't really care for it, but uh, once you memorize it, it's not so bad. But gotta yeah, be careful because there's a bottomless pit down below. Yep, fall in the water and you're dead because again, you can't swim in this game. I don't know why, but for some reason, just, just this one time, Mario and friends can't swim. You know, in every other Mario game, as far as I know, they can swim. So, I don't know why they couldn't here, but whatever. Well, I know it's because they, was, because they couldn't in Doki Doki Panic, but still, it's weird to me. Anyways, this bird is red, not green, so she does shoot eggs, as you've clearly seen. How many times have I fought Birdo now? I mean, do I really have to describe her again? Because I, I think we all know how Birdo fights at this point. Anyway, she's dead. Let's, uh... Move on out. No coin, so no bonus chance for me, but oh well. And now it's time to take freaking Toad into World 5 3. This is gonna suck a lot. Have I mentioned I hate Toad yet? Because God, I hate Toad. Toad sucks. I stand by that. But, anyways, uh, World 5 3. Definitely have some annoying moments like that right there. These birds just randomly dropping bombs on you, and I, I hate that. And Toad is such a bad character for this level, let me tell you. But I went through with it anyways, because again, I want to go in order for you guys. Yeah, I want to give everybody equal screen time, or at least as much as I could into a World 7. But, uh, you know. And it sounds like there's a ambulance. In the background. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear that or not, but uh, yeah, there's one in the background. I hope wherever they're going to is safe, and uh, yeah. And I I know how to get that mushroom. Uh, you gotta bomb out that gra that wall, but the problem is these bombs blow up too quickly. And I also hate how you have to super jump again when bombs are chasing you to get up over that wall. Again! Why would you decide that way? Oh, and this part really sucks too. So I gotta place this block right here so that bomb will blow up that block and I can go down. And, uh, yeah, first time, I was actually legitimately confused. I was like, okay, so do I get the bombs from that side or the bombs from that side? And it was just like, ugh. Why would you do it that way? And now we got a Koopa shell that I'm going to save for the moment because I want to use it over here to take out this annoying flower. I hate those fireball spewing flowers, they are so annoying, I hate them, hate them, hate them. And uh, I also hate those things, those electric things, they are so annoying too. Now here you actually want to use the blocks to uh, block up, no pun intended, the uh, little areas there so the shy guys don't keep coming out, and there's a heart but I'm good so we're just going to keep going along. I'm going to try and kill this guy and I failed miserably so screw him, he doesn't need to die. As long as he stays on my way, that's what matters. You know, not not every care, not every villain in the game needs to die. As long as they stay on my way, I'm fine sparing them. Oh, the freaking bombs! Eat those things! And again, I got a super jump. Why? Why can't I just use a regular jump? Hey. And again, got a super jump. Now this part can be a little tricky because of the fire flowers that or fire spewing fire fl whatever. They're flowers that spew fire, that's all you need to know. But, but I find if you hide in like the corners at the right time and whatnot, then they'll just go past you and I just felt like an idiot and now I gotta deal with this again. So if you just hide in the corner properly, you're not gonna get hit, trust me. There we go. So let's try this again. Seriously, Toad sucks at jumping. You know, why would you ever want to play as a character that's not good at jumping in a platforming game? It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, there's the door. Just super jump over there. Ah. Okay, maybe this... No, wait a minute. Just go this way. <laughs> I almost did super jump again. Don't get me wrong there, but I chose not to. And there's the music, so it's boss time, and I just picked up a time stopper, so let's move it. Things are not moving right now. And I'm just throwing that sniff it off because I don't want to deal with them. All right, now we're just riding this carpet over to the Birdo, or at least I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Birdo. Seriously, if, if it's not a Birdo, I will eat my hat, okay? You know, it's almost always a Birdo. 
and over there um, is a time stopper. The only reason I'm saying that now is because I just assumed it was a vegetable, but uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to die. There you go. And then I did pick it up, and it was a time stopper. You can even hear the sound effect in the sound effect in the background. So yeah, and the good thing about that, got a second to get a free hit on Birdo. Told you to be Birdo. Like seriously, who do you expect it to be? So yeah, Birdo again. Yay! And I jumped on the fireball like an idiot. Ugh. All right, she's beaten, and now we go to the real boss of World 5. Two bosses in a row, gotta love that. Who's it gonna be? A crab. Well, this is weird, and I died again. But I gotta admit, uh, this boss is actually pretty fun. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites in the game. Basically, what you wanna do is you just wanna wait for the rocks to come by, jump on top of them, and then throw them at the crab. And if you time it just right, you can actually hit Hit him with two hits instead of just one. Let's see if I get here. Nope, not there. I'm pretty sure I got once, at least. Let's see. There it is! See, yeah, if you time it just right, you can hit him twice instead of once. And it's pretty freaking awesome because then you can take him out even quicker. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun boss fight if I say so myself. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's, it's hard to describe why I love it so much. There's just something about dodging the rocks and jumping on top of them and throwing them at them that. I just find really fun. But anyways, folks, that was World 5. Honestly, pretty good world. I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite. It, it probably, probably in my top three favorites, but, uh, yeah. And, oh, three more coins. Yay. I'm sure you guys are really happy about that, right? You want to see more bonus chance, right? And there I got two up. Yeah. Things are finally looking up. But anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me this time. So thank you all for watching. And in the next part, we'll be airing World 6 with Princess Peach. So I'll see you all then and enjoy the rest of the video. Uh -oh.